Shemot, Exodus 17. And all the assembly of the children of Yasharael journeyed from the wilderness of Sin. After their journeys, according to the commandment of Yahuwah, and pitched in Rephidim, and there was no water for the people to drink. Wherefore, the people did chide with Moshe, and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moshe said unto them, Why chide ye with me? Wherefore do ye tempt at Yahuwah? And the people thirsted there for water. And the people murmured against Moshe and said, Wherefore is this that you have brought us up out of Mitzrayim to kill us and at our children and at our cattle with thirst? And Moshe cried unto El Yahuwah, saying, What shall I do unto this people? They be almost ready to stone me. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Go on before the people, and take with you of the elders of Yasharael, and your rod, wherewith you smote at the river. Take in your hand, and go. Behold, I will stand before you there upon the rock in Chorev. And you shall smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it, that the people may drink. And Moshe did so in the sight of the elders of Yasharel El. And he called the name of the place Macha and Miriava, because of the chiding of the children of Yasharel because they tempted at Yahuwah, saying, Is Yahuwah among us or not? Then came Amalek and fought with Yasharael in Rephidim. And Moshe said unto El Yahushua, Choose us out men and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of Elohim in my hand. So Yahushua did as Moshe had said unto him, rather said to him, and fought with Amalek. And Moshe, Aharan, and Chur went up to the top of the hill and it came to pass, when Moshe held up his hand, that Yasharael prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moshe's hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat thereon. And Aharon and Chur stayed up his hands the one on the one side and the other on the other side and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun and Yahushua discomfited at Amalek and at his people with the edge of the sword and Yahuwah said unto Moshe write this for a memorial in a sefer and rehearse it in the ears of Yahushua, rather Yahusha. For I will utterly put out at the remembrance of Amalek from under the heavens. And Moshe built an altar and called the name of it Yahuwah Nisi. For he said, Because Yah has sworn that Yahuwah will have war 
with Amalek from generation to generation.